Wasa is an ancient Chinese tradition that involves the unidirectional stroking of a small jade board to gently massage, manipulate, and stimulate specific energy points along the face and body in which to help break up blood stagnation, release toxins, and promote lymphatic drainage. This has become a very popular modality despite it has been around long before, and over time the technique has changed and been tweaked. However, proper technique is still key to achieve optimal results. I get asked a lot, what type of stone do you use? You do want to ensure the quality of the stone and that it is not dyed. As far as shape, it is whatever feels comfortable in your hands. I personally like a stone that has curves to fit the face in areas that I can contour easily and if it has teeth so I can saw or erase any lines or wrinkles of concern. I would like to note, just because you are doing guasa does not mean you are doing lymphatic drainage. You do need to be aware of the lymph pathways to drain toxins away properly. When the stroke is downward, you are engaging lymph drainage as you are guiding it down to drain away. When the stroke is upwards, its focus is lifting and contouring. I like and recommend to work one side of the face at a time and divide into smaller sections. It is best to start at the neck and clear the neck pathway to the clavicle where it will drain. Then work the jawline, corner of mouth to ear, cheek to ear, under eyes to temple, and lastly forehead. As a beginner, a good rule to follow is three to five strokes for each section of the face you are working. As you become more comfortable, you can go back and work areas of the face to really target trouble areas or areas of concern for crow's feet or forehead wrinkles or whatever is your biggest concern. I would like to point out this is something you may not want to do every day because over time you could break up the fat pads in the face that give the face volume. My recommendation would be two to three times a week or even once a week as long as you are consistent would give beautiful lasting results. I say this also because you could add other modalities in your skin regimen to give you results. You could try dry brushing one day, facial cupping, or microcurrent in between your gua sa routine. You can however clear the neck every day and that alone would keep your skin clear and bright and less puffy. I hope this helps and if you would like more ideas and ways to perform gua sa, head to my social media to see videos of different stones used and different techniques.